I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test paper of my student. The whole idea is once you go through a few test papers, you get well prepared for your own test. Let me first congratulate uh, Mr. J for excellent performance on his test. So we will go through these questions one by one. I will provide you with some solutions and I hope that helps you to get good marks. Question number one here is, we are given uh, three points and we need to find their dot products and the angle between them. Let us look into this question in further details. So the question here is three points in space are defined by the coordinates A 1 5 minus 2, B is 3 2 minus 1 and C is 0 5 3. Determine dot product of A B and A C, cross product of A B and A C an angle between AB and AC. So that is the question for you. Now in such questions, since we are given only the points, we need to find the vectors, right? So first step always will be to find the vectors themselves. So let us find what is vector AB. So we say vector AB will be, so point A is 1, 5, minus 2, B is 3, 2, minus 1, so we'll take the difference between uh, these points to get the vector AB, right? So these are the position vectors. So what we get here is 3 minus 1, which is 2, and then 2 minus 5, which is minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, that, that becomes plus 2. So minus 1 plus 2 gives us 1. So we get vector AB. Now find what vector AC is. AC will be A to C. That means 0 minus 1, that gives you minus 1. 5 minus 5 is 0. And 3 minus minus 2, which is 5, right? So we have AC as minus 1, 0, 5. Now let us find the dot product between these vectors. So dot product will be equal to 2 minus 3, 1 dot minus 1, 0, 5. So you multiply the corresponding. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus minus 3 times 0 is 0 plus 5 times 1, which is 5. And when you add minus 2 to 5, you get 3. So dot product is always a scalar, a magnitude of 3, right? So that is what you get. Now let us see how to find the cross product. I kind of changed the question. In the question it was cross product between A, B and B, C, right? So you can do cross product between A, B and B, C also, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you need to know how to do dot product and cross product, right? So we have vectors here. I will use the method for matrix to find the cross product. We can write I, J, K, right? So these are the unit vectors and AB is 2, minus 3, 1. AC is minus 1, 0, 5. Correct? So we can write this as, I'll use space here, I, the unit vector, and cross product between these two. Minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. Take away 0 times 1 minus J. Within brackets it is 2 times 5, 10 minus this which is minus 1 times 1 which is plus 1 so so it becomes minus of minus becomes plus 1 plus k and then 2 times 0 which is 0 minus this which is plus 3 you use the method which you have learned okay now so let me just simplify this so we have minus 15 i j will be minus 11 j these are unit vectors and minus 3k. So the cross product between these is as shown here. Now you need to find angle between AB and AC. So which you can find using the dot product formula. Correct? Uh, you know A dot AB dot AC AC could be written as magnitude of AB times magnitude of AC times cosine of theta. So from here you can find what theta is. So theta 
is the angle between these two. So dot product of these two, that is AB dot AC divided by the product of magnitudes, right? Product of magnitudes. So that is how you can find the angle and then you can find, uh, I mean I should write uh, cos theta here, then we'll write theta as cos inverse of this value and find the value. Now AB dot AC we calculated as 3, so I'll use this value 3 here, correct? So that is the value 3 which I'm going to use. So we have 3 here on the top and magnitude, it's good idea to find the magnitude separately, right? Then we'll write down the values here. Magnitude of AB, let me calculate the magnitude here. So magnitude of vector AB is equals to square root of 2 square plus minus 3 square plus 1 square. That is 2 square is 4 plus 9 plus 1. So it is square root of 14, right? Similarly, magnitude of AC will be equal to square root of 1 square. So minus 1 also you can write. 0 square plus 5 square which is 25 plus 1 is 26 so it's square root of 26 correct so you can substitute these values here so we have square root of 14 times square root of 26 right so that is equals to we can use the calculator so we have 3 divided by within bracket square root of 14 times square root of 26 which is equals to 0 0.15724 whatever right so four decimal places is good enough so from here we can say theta equals to cos inverse of this number it's already there in my calculator so 15724 and let's do cos inverse so shift cos inverse of the answer itself is equal to 80.95 so we get the value is 80.95 so that becomes the angle between the two vectors and this is in degrees right so you could always round this so you can round this to 81 degrees right so we get 81 degrees as the angle between the two I hope the steps are absolutely clear so as a practice you can actually change the question a bit. So you can find, uh, instead of dot product with AC, you can find it with BC, right? So change these values to BC, and then find the angle between AB and BC, right? So let that be your practice question. I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.